giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. <laughs> All right, so that brings us uh, to the top uh, 15 here. Justin's going to tell us about Team 3847. From Houston. Did I? No, did I, I think I went wrong. 3487, right? What? I didn't write this one, though. I didn't? I didn't. You oh, must. I guess I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can, I can read what you wrote. No, that's fine. I'll read it. <laughs> All right. In the 15th spot <laughs> is Team 3847. So weird. I don't know what happened. From Houston, Texas and St. Agnes Academy and straight Jesuit um, College Prep School, it's Spectrum. An overall record of 43, 12, and 1. And they were the winners of the El Paso District event. So a district team playing, quote, only two events kind of seems to be rare, but it was um, at their first event where they took home the gold. At the Greenville event, they would take home um, silver, losing to the powerful alliance of 3310, 2468, 2468, excuse me, 2708. This past weekend, the um, FIT District Championship, they would rank 16th with a 2.16 ranking score average. Um, they would be selected to the number three alliance by 1817. In an upset, they would take out the number two alliance of 118 and 2468 in the semis, um, and taking home silver, losing Losing to 148, 33, 10, and 30, 35 in the finals. Really nice season for Spectrum. Um, we'll see them again. They'll be competing in Houston. And uh, good luck to them. 38, 47. Yeah, uh, Spectrum's Alliance played some really great shutdown defense against uh, 118 in the semifinals and uh, very well earned uh, by them to uh, go to the finals where, uh, unfortunately, those matches, I don't think were very close, but uh, still to, to get to that level and the battle through and to go, you know, the, the win against 118 and 2468 or 2468, as Mike puts it, uh, is just awesome to see and and. Uh, Spectrum, I think, is a team that does still fly under the radar for some reason. Uh, yeah. I'm not quite sure why, because I think they build excellent robots, and that you know, and Alan Gregory is very active in the community as well too. But it still feels like me they they fly under the radar in many cases. Now, definitely, I think ranking 15 is pretty appropriate uh, for them in the FRC top 25. So maybe not so much, but I always just feel like I don't see their team uh, just like named enough in the community, and it, I think it's a shame. I think more people need need to be talking about their team because they're absolutely excellent. Mm -hmm. Agreed. You just have that, like, the team just has, robots, so. yeah, as I was gonna say, they have, like, yeah, a great robot and then a, just a good culture, a good, um, what's it called, like a, a vision of their team. That's not the right mm -hmm. word, but yeah. All right. So um, Justin's going to tell us about our 14th ranked team, and that's going to be team 5687. From Portland, Maine, it's the Outliers. 49 and 6 overall, and we're the winners the Granite State, Greater Boston, and Pine Tree District events. So an incredible 3 for 3 for the Outliers, and in their. New England champs tune up this past weekend, 5687 ranked first and led the event in cargo scoring ahead of 133 Bert that Mike talked about earlier. Uh, but the, that's the team they would pick first along with 4055 and would go on to win the event. So minus a slight hiccup in some semifinals match two, the Alliance was a consistent 90 point average score and played smooth all the way through to earn the event win. So New England champs is this weekend and good luck to 5687, the outliers. Yeah, I think they're underrated personally. Uh, the yeah. outliers just, I mean, 49 and six uh, this year so far and just keep winning over and over and over again. Uh, absolutely crazy. I think the, did they only push one match, the three in the playoffs, I think. Yeah, they had yeah. one one match the entire, two matches, I'm sorry, the entire time. Uh, or the first time I'd been looking at was week zero. So, uh, but yeah, so one match the entire time in the playoffs that they pushed to three and they've just swept through all, all the other ones and uh, outliers. Uh, I, I think they talked about the New England or the New England. Uh, there's so many New England teams, the uh, Northeastern uh, region recap that they are truly not an outlier anymore. This team is just, <laughs> uh, just absolutely phenomenal. Audrey, that pun's for you. So, uh, but looking really good outliers. Uh, can't wait to see them uh, at the uh, New England district championship. Sure. So yeah, Mike, I don't know how we got turned around, but you're gonna I don't know either. You know, you're gonna pull double duty again here in a little bit, just as a heads up. <laughs> I tried to get him back in order and then it overran again. But anyway. <laughs> that's okay. Uh from fourteenth to thirteenth, we have team two twenty five. From York, Pennsylvania, it's Tech Fire. An overall record of thirty nine, twelve and one. They were the winners of the FMA. There we go. <laughs> See, look at you go. It was just me. Where I go. <laughs> So, finishing the regular season with a win at the Montgomery District event last week, Tech Fire makes their 2019 Top 25 debut here at number 6 after the FMA District Championship. Ranking second, going 9-2-1 with a 3.0 ranking score average. They would captain um, that number 2 alliance, picking up 747 and... Um, 
probably 747, right? <laughs> and 5401, they would be um, they would beat seven, three, and five in six matches uh, for the district championship win. 225 plays a strong game, has good reach um, with their mechanism, placing both game pieces um, with a, a good reach, so they can get um, pretty pretty decent far away. And um, they can have three climb going up the stairs on the side. So well done to 225 Tech Fire. They're currently ranked um, number one after um, district championship um, in FMA um, as they head into Detroit. So um, congratulations and uh, good luck to them. Yeah, I'm a huge I'm a huge fan of Tech Fire, and I, uh, you know we went out, we filmed their uh, Ribbon Three Days out there, and just seeing just kind of the inspiration, uh, you know, the team actually didn't look at the Ribbon Three Days really until the end because they wanted to make sure that they their students had a fresh mindset for things. But you can just tell going to their shop and just seeing how their operations work that they they get it and that their team is very well built, and you just see great robots, uh, you know, coming out of them. I think year after year, I think they're another team. Uh, mm -hmm. I think they got a lot of love this week, but I think in the overall first community, I think they're a little underrated uh, as well, too. Uh, you know, went out on the semis in their first event, but keep getting better and better, uh, winning the second event, and, you know, of course, winning uh, the FMA. Margis is a better tongue roll. It just comes off the way. Yeah, it does. Yeah, uh, but FMA champs. Uh, so Tech Fire, of course, looking good once again. Uh, and can't wait to see them at the uh, Detroit Championship because they're just going to rock it, in my opinion. Mm -hmm, for sure. Agreed. Get it? Rock it because there's a rocket. Oh, oh, I was all over it. That was a good one. Oh, I, I didn't mean the pun there, and it worked out. Nice. Bam. <laughs> Our producer Nick is threatening to mute us for doing puns. No, not us, just you. <laughs> oh, just oh, All right, fair, fair Justin, back fair to enough. the old days. <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> so moving on, our 12th ranked team is going to be team number 1241. From Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, Rich, Rick Hansen Secondary School at Theory 6, 29 and 7 overall, were the winners of the McMaster University District event. So in writing the script, something just hit me about how much more deep space some teams are set to play. So 1241 earned an impressive win this past weekend, seeding fifth and joining the number one alliance with 2056 and 6070, and they averaged over 100 points on their way to the event. Uh, the event win. But 1241 will play again this coming weekend at the Ontario Provincial Championship and then take a week off and will no, no, no doubt be in Detroit for North Champ. So it's their second event. They won this past weekend. There's just still so many more matches um, left to play for Theory 6. Mm -hmm. It's just crazy. It seems like, it, it, I guess in my mind, like week 6 or step 25, things are wrapping up. But really, for a lot of teams, things things are just getting going. It just, yeah, just getting good, right? Because, you know, they have the District Championship, which is obviously high high level, high energy. And then, uh, you know, thankfully only like a week off and then they're kind of right back at it. So, um, you know, some of these teams that had district championship this weekend, um, you know, have to wait a little bit longer than, and hopefully some of these teams can just kind of keep their groove going. And uh, divisions for Ontario did come out, by the way, and they are not with 2056 in their division, but they are with 1114. Uh, 1305 would be another great example. They could pair up with 1325 maybe as well too. Uh, so some really good ones out there. Uh, just as a side yeah. note, Always sad to see 11, 14, 20, 56 apparently don't get on the same division. Uh, yeah. Rigged emotes in chat for that. But <laughs> right. uh, but can't can't wait to see uh, Theory 6 play. You know, I, I saw some chat in regards to, like, uh, you know, maybe they're not as good as with their potential shows because of who they pair up with. I think 1241 has a fantastic machine this year and uh, is faster than what I've seen in other years, too. I think they're very consistent and deliberate, and that's what I really like about them is that they just seem to keep, uh, you know, are they the fastest machine? No, I think they're faster than they have been in other years, but I really like their consistency and just, uh, to me, just their deliberate intention to the rocket back and forth seems to be uh, something I'd love to have on an alliance if I was a team. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, this is kind of a bummer seeing 256 on 14 split. It's a bummer, man. It'll make, it it'll make for some good finals matches. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, right. we'll see. We'll see, right? So. We will see. It's not, it's not a, it's not a not sure thing like it was but, three years ago. Probably. Yeah, Ontario is so deep nowadays. It's, Absolutely. It's, uh, mm -hmm. it, it will be cool to see what the Paris are. That's Complex definitely going to be an event yeah. I'm watching uh, week seven. Oh, yeah. Definitely. All right, before we take a break here uh, in the 10 spot, we're going to pause at 11 and talk about Team 118. From League City, Texas and Clear Creek High School, it's the Robonauts, an overall record of 64-7, and seven, and they were the winners of the El Paso and Pasadena District events and winners of the Arizona North Regional. So two district events and one regional uh, win in regulation play this year. 118 headed into the FIT District Championship looking for some continued success. Taking three number one seeds this year, they would finish second and captain that alliance. They beat number 
our seven alliance in uh, quarterfinals, they would come up short in three matches in the semis against the number three seed. Um, and so we kind of talked off air. Justin kind of made a comment that this may be the lowest 118 has ever, ever been in the top 25. Um, so, but power seems learn, thrive, and excel through adversity. So just um, an unfortunate, you know, kind of setback, but um, really just can kind of set their sights here on the Houston championship and uh, good luck to 118. Yeah. Just um, when, you know, when Tyler sent us the, the, the list of the top 25, we're like, 11th man i don't think we've ever seen them that low so um but yeah it was just another incredible season um obviously not how they wanted to fit um district champs to go uh you know definitely thought we'd be seeing them in the finals but um still have a great robot nonetheless and should do well and, and, just... I, and i think that was part of it right because i mean the, the machine scores really well but they were they were able to have be defended against now um uh, i think some people you know when we did the voting, um, if we looked at people who voted that were specifically from the USA South region, they actually had 118 very low uh, in the rankings, but globally they got brought up a little bit more. So I'm almost curious if, uh, you know, I, I didn't watch all of Fit. I watched uh, most of the elimination matches. So I'm curious to see, uh, you know, Fit. I people in Fit ranked them actually even lower than something like that. I think in the region they ranked them like nine or something like that. Uh, so interesting to see uh, what chat thinks in general. If 118 you know, should be higher because they, they played really well before playoffs came into play or they, if they should be lower based on their semifinal performance as well too. So chat, love to see your uh, comments on where you think 118 should fall. Should they be in the top 25? Shouldn't they be, should they be in the top, you know, 10? Should they be lower? Love mm. to hear your comments on that. Interesting. All right. So that's brings us to the top 10 there. And uh, I think it's time for some more giveaways. Yeah. So our next uh, giveaway is going to be uh, the FTA, uh, space bear pin from our friend uh, Howard, who really wants us to say F M A and not M A R. Uh, so, uh, but this is super cool guys. Uh, this, this pin is so dope. Like, uh, if you don't have one, just go pick it up. You can go to uh, first style, uh, they go check it out yourself. Uh, but this is pretty cool. So we're going to be giving away two of these, uh, over the stream. And, uh, then Howard sent me a keyword. I asked you last second, Howard. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, so uh, we're going to do a keyword here and we're going to do FTA bear. I like that. So um, FTA bear is going to be your keyword uh, to win uh, this. So I'll put it in chat here. So everybody has that. Uh, so if you're interested in winning uh, the space rear pin, we're going to be drawing after the uh, top FTA bean. Nice. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know that's what I was laughing at. <laughs> you're going to be drawing uh, after number six. Uh, so uh, we'll be doing two drawings right away. Uh, so make sure you get in. You do have to follow the channel, so make sure you do that. Or if you like to have five times luck to win this awesome FTA Space Bear pin, uh, make sure you subscribe for a few bucks a month or for free through Twitch Prime. And if you or your parents have Amazon Prime, you can link it, and that's how you get the free credit each month. Uh, so thanks again to Howard uh, for the awesome uh, bear. Uh, very cool stuff. And we'll be doing the drawing for that uh, in just a little bit. But before that, mm -hmm. uh, Mike, I think we got uh, something. Yeah, another uh, week six clips of the week. Um, we're going to show you in just a second. It's just been a lot of fun um, putting these together every week. Uh, you can submit clips um, through our Discord. There's a clips of the week um, channel, um, sub channel, channel. I don't know. And um, or you can uh, when you vote every week, you can put it in um, with your votes as well. So just like I said, it's, it's really cool. Um, uh, seeing these and I'm really excited. These are quite popular on YouTube. Um, I think our week two has like 11,000 views or something. So yeah, we're uh, multiple, multiple thousands of views on all of them. I think so. Yeah. Far, so, so it's really cool. I'm glad you guys are liking them. And, uh, yeah. and it's, it's a nice way to kind of see some things that happen that, you know, at events that you weren't really watching. So uh, with no further ado, uh, let's watch week six clips of the week. They got one more before this red rock is filled with hash metals. They got a ball in the way. Oh no! Oh no, they knocked off one of their own hash metals on number one. They knocked off two hash metals on number one. Now Aimbot retreats to the blue side of the field as we approach our end game, and we may see their patented armadillo roll. There they go, very early. And you can't help but wonder if they're going to try to make room for a partner up there. They've flipped all the way back over onto their wheels. Now they're up. Here come the chickens. And we may see two blue robots try to make their way on to level through the half. 36-74. The Cloverbots continuing to work on the rocket. The chickens are up. Outstanding work by... Definitely 
making their way across. 2-2-2 two, two, two was just tipped over. We're gonna see if they can make their way back up. And they do successfully. That's a that's a perfect one to end on. That, yeah. that was, I'm pretty sure it's her that submitted it too, because I was Fantastic. just like, you never know who submits it, and it's just like, um, you never, you're just never sure, or like, you know, if people want that out there. But it's, I love it. She was so mm -hmm. excited, and rightfully so. The number six alliance took down number three, number two, and number one alliances on the way to the win. That is awesome. That's pretty. So you epic. can just like, if you have that, that's why I put that in there. I don't really kind of. Um, on a video we did a few years ago, I kind of ex like, like this was the first, whatever. But like that's why I put it on that one is because like I think it was important to realize how excited and why they, why these people were so excited. So, um, just so just cool. a quick reminder too on the on the clips for Mike. Uh, realize it takes time to make these. Once again, guys, so we appreciate you submitting them. Get them in as soon as possible. Uh, so if you see them on TBA, like if you're on game day. Click the little clip button and then just go post it in our Discord right away. Um, because pretty much, uh, Mike, I mean, we're, we're pretty much looking through end of Sunday, maybe a little bit in the Monday, but yeah, I uh, usually you know, do we got to get them Monday in Monday night. So yeah, yeah. that's when. Uh, and then um, also, so many videos, people just copy and paste a link from the entire match. I'm not going to watch oh, yeah. the entire match. So if you if it's not going to be a, a Twitch clip, then at least timestamp on YouTube um, because. Uh, then I like screen grab it or something. Yeah. But yeah, we can't, get, it, we can't get to all of them. But no, we'll, I can't. We'll do yeah, as many as and we if can. it's um, yeah, for sure, you can't do it all. So yeah, and if Mike, it, thanks for putting those together, man. These are oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah. It's, it's not. It's really. Not, it doesn't take too long. So it's it's fun. Like I said, I like. Don't tell them that. So. <laughs> you guys so also see. Uh, Truffle brought it up again in the chat, and I remember I saw it live. The 148 robot had climbed, and then it was it was gonna fall off the off the top platform. Oh. The FTA ran out and and stopped it at the last second. It's a, kind of a big controversy. It, <laughs> to be uh, honest, I, there's when, yeah. That when was I saw it, I was, like, off. I was like, oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Nick Nick said that people make poor decisions in a yeah, more tactful said. manner. So. <laughs> yeah, that, I thought that was a. Uh, it seemed like he didn't even think about it. He just saw it and just reacted. He kind of held it and looked around like, oh, man, should I have done that? Yeah. But no, it was cool. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.